like to welcome a panel of experts starting with Rakhi Rathor. She is representing the BJP here. We also have Mohammad Ali Shah. He is an Empower Media panelist. Also joining us uh, very shortly will be Ajay Varma. He is a senior journalist. Sumit Peer, political commentator, also there on the panel with us. I welcome all of you, first of all, uh, and thank you all for joining us uh, on News X. Ahmad Ali Shah, would you concur? I, I would have liked to ask you more, you know, uh, on a Sufi sort of point of view about how to bring communities together, but end of the day debate is very heated as of now, and let's keep the momentum on the same. Do you think it's also to a large extent uh, appeasement politics also, which is responsible for the situation deteriorating further throughout the country? Oh, most certainly, Minakshi. There is all uh, appeasement politics everywhere that's responsible for communal violence. And whenever there is communal violence, it always starts with uh, appeasement politics, nothing else. And I uh, and it's not about the party, it's not about the ideology, it's about mature thinking. I compliment uh, Rakhi Rathor for giving a very balanced view over there. And irrespective of whichever community the writer is from, the writer should be brought to task straight away. Mm -hmm. The police should be more vigilant. And this is not through provocation, let me tell you one thing. This is through preparation. Any violence like that, it doesn't happen as a spur of the moment. Hmm. It's all planned. It's not that I was provoked. Hmm. I was, uh, no. And I, it is like, it is really, I feel very sad. I feel very sad on a day of a festival, violence is breaking down. Yeah. And, you know, we saw in the last one month, we saw on Hanuman Jayanti, we saw Ram Navami, we saw in Ramzan, we saw on Eid we saw on, uh, in fact, first let me wish everyone uh, happy uh, Eid Mubarak and uh, happy Akshay Tritya as well. So it's a festive time where we all should be coexisting and living in peace and harmony. Hmm. We should all learn from the Indian Armed Forces in the army in Nasik, in uh, Artillery Center, that's the regiment I am from, is a square, where there is a Mandir, Masjid, Gurdwara and Church on the same square. We just saw uh, two days back, we saw General Pandey co-commander 15 co in Srinagar, he was praying namaz along with the Sikh officer. That is the kind of communal harmony, that's the kind of coexistence. We are a salad bowl nation, we are not a melting pot, unlike the West, where you can distinguish between a carrot, a cucumber, a tomato, a potato, but yet all of them live together. Hmm. But I really feel, I don't know, it's really uh, disheartening for me to see this kind of intolerance going on from both the sides. Hmm. Firstly, I now you know I have begun to understand one thing: that loudspeaker should be banned for both the communities for any religious purpose, be it azan. Because when 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 uh, Hazrat Bilal gave the azan first in Saudi Arabia in Mecca, there were no loudspeakers that time. Hmm. Hmm. Hazrat Bilal gave the azan in a very beautiful way. Hmm. There were no loudspeakers used for that, hmm. and you know the loudspeakers irrespective, just do away with it. Otherwise, it's all going to be you versus me and whoever is louder. Well, absolutely, end of the day, end of the day, at least the loudspeaker discussion uh, or, you know, implementation of law and order, if we speak on a bigger umbrella term, it has to be looked from the point of view as a procedure, uh, from an administrative point of view and not a religious point of view. And I think that's a very pertinent and a very logical point which you raised, sir. Major Mohammed Shah has also been very patiently listening to us. Major Shah, uh, you know, uh, you, you started and you tried to take this debate uh, on a positive note, talking about brotherhood, talking about, of course, uh, you know, a futuristic approach where we can, uh, where hopefully someday we'll not have such instances, but that seems to be, of course, not a possibility or mirage as of now, really. Um, I also should have started this broadcast by wishing you the fact that, you know, we are only discussing uh, communal tensions and they've taken place uh, in many states, be it of course, uh, you know, Madhya Pradesh or uh, Karoli and now of course Jodhpur, uh, the situation really deteriorating and will you say that all political parties will have to bear responsibility just to take, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Mehta's point forward. Uh, it, it, there is provocation from both sides at the end of the day. Absolutely, Minakshi, and uh, very, very unfortunate. And you know, see, I'll tell you uh, logically, I'm a Muslim and I believe when I respect others' faith, Will others respect my faith? And this kind of violence should not be there at all. Like, you know, I, um, uh, Rakhi is here right now, and I come from a Rajput regiment when I was in the army, and I learned the Karni Mata Arti. In Deshno, there is Karni Mata Mandir. So I know it by heart. Aja more kant ambe basohe bhavani, kon samit ye pargat ki ni, kon samit ye mani. Tusi daas bhaja bhagwana sabke manne maya, tuhi agwani ma, tuhi agwan. So, you know, the, the actual Rajput tradition, I know the Durga Mata Arti by heart. Hmm. In fact, during the Shera, I used to do the Bali, I used to do the, the Jatka, that is 
what the army ethos are all about. And my, my, my colleague, you would, you would wish me Ram Ram Saab, Eid Mubarak, Jai Mata Ki Saab, Eid Mubarak. And I would wish back, Jai Mata Ki Eid Mubarak. So that is the kind of brotherhood we actually come from. That's the background that I come from, Minakshi. And this kind of a sorry state of affairs, it is really, really ridiculous. It is really, I mean, uh, you know, uh, Nama on the road, let me first come to that. Firstly, no one has the right to take law in their hands. And I've been taught one thing. Stones can be used to build bridges between the two communities, not to throw at each other. Now, and Nama sticks no are also not to be wielded on any community. So as I said, I mean, we're not trying absolutely. to side with any community. Okay, it Minashi, was both communities which were yeah, responsible. Minashi, so I was, so saying, um, I was saying Namaz on the road, hmm. they can be batches. That is my suggestion. In Bombay, okay. when I was in Bombay, I saw that no one read Namaz in the mosque where I would go to on Fridays or on Eid. Hmm. There were no, though there was no namaz happening in that particular mosque on the road. But yes, I will not deny it, mosque and namaz on the road happens, and I, it can be curtailed. How you can read namaz in batches? <laughs> First jamaat, second jamaat, third jamaat. Jamaat is like a batch. So that way we will not have. So every community should be careful of the fact that they should not irritate the uh, other community. Likewise, have the loudspeaker issue or the uh, or occupying the road is concerned. Doing namaz or beat covered or yatra or beat anything. Basically, it's not a religious issue, it should be a social issue that you should not end up disturbing the other person. As simple as that. And the moment that is made communal, like for example, I see it was totally uncalled for this flag issue. Whether the flag already hoisting, what are you trying to prove? What is any community trying to prove by removing the flag and putting our flag? How is putting one community down Raising your own community. Being but that also community. happened from both sides, uh, Major Shah. You know, yes. if you really see the yes. entire chain of events, there was provocation from both sides, and that's not something uh, which which can be denied at all. Uh, I thank all the guests.